Hey guys, welcome to Warp TV where we help you get good and maybe take some scalps. Today we've got three challenge decks for you and one bonus one. Unfortunately, I couldn't get that one recorded for whatever reason. But it also worked out really well, so go ahead and check that out. Okay, first up we have Chick with the Dicks from Dire Tide. So the meta for this um, challenge is basically poison again. Um, so we want to keep our units as spread out as possible. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to outplay his waiting game. And he's trying to bide his time as well as build his energy. So this guy definitely knows what he's doing. It's important in these to make your opponent come over to your side of the field. You just have a greater advantage and it gives you that time to bide. So now we're going to be able to utilize our Wonder Tweak. Uh, he's going to have 20% more um, increased stats as well as Super Craig and we're going to go ahead and utilize him as well. Notice I'm still just kind of hanging out and wait for him to group everything together for me. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to get uh, Terrence and Phillip to split off and attack two targets at once. So again, that's timing and placement. So here we have a good grouping for poison. Remember, anytime you do anything, you have to have value. So Terrence and Phillip is a four card, Santa is a five, so we're going to get good chip damage on the five card. And again, we're going to wait for them to come to us. And notice I'm not freaking out about that stand of many moons. Allow your energy to build up to the last possible moment and really, really think these difficult situations through. So at this point I'm realizing maybe he's used a little too much energy for that last attack. So we're going to try and capitalize on that, and I used a little more than I would have. With pro players this back and forth kind of thing isn't uncommon. So you just have to develop some patience and really understand how each little thing is going. And here's where patience really pays off, we have 9 energy. It's looking kind of bad for us, but we can also help ourselves out. So here I'm going to try a uh, backdoor with Super Craig. And we know his melee attack is basically arranged. So if you get him anywhere near that new kid, it's going to be trouble. And there it is, that's game. Next up we have the One Punch Man, Saitama with SP Elites. Always a good game with him. So we're going to start off with our Doc Timmy. Uh, directly behind our new kid, and again, we're biding our time. Normally, I wouldn't really activate that um, Doc Timmy charge, but um, Heidi is pretty low health, so we can take care of her pretty quickly. And we're also trying this uh, across the field type stuff too, so we're forcing him to engage us on both sides of the field. We got a good group forming here and it added value to our wonder tweak so we went ahead and started that up. And 
now we're waiting for that TMP so both TMPs can attack one at the same time. Giggity. Let's see some patience. We have nine energy, now six. He's going for a dive. So we're going to go ahead and exchange some chip damage on each other's new kids. Keep your units spread as best as possible. Yep, poison. We're continuing our slow roll here, and again, we're going to try and backdoor with that Super Craig. And we're going to speed him up too, and see what happens. And that's game. Okay, here we have GoGen1106 with Reddit SPPD. So we're going to wait till the last possible moment to summon our um, energy staff here. It's another good way to bide your time and save up for that energy. This deck I kind of had an uh, anti-poison meta in mind. And uh, we're going to start a slow roll with our uh, Priest Maxi. It's going to be real important to support Maxi. So we put our Super Craig behind because he's got that ranged uh, melee attack. So here I kind of made a mistake, I, I should have activated that invincibility, uh, it would have stopped more of that poison damage, even though um, our kite was going to die. Should have also waited a little longer to get that energy staff out too. We really want to save energy, and it's a close game right now. So Professor wasn't killed, and uh, we're going to try and backdoor with him along with the regen. And we pulled it off. Of course, never underestimate that um, chip damage. <laughs> so again, we're going to try and support our Priest Maxi as best we can at this point. So knowing that Tweaks and Craigs have a 20% additional stat increase, um, I went ahead and did that regen, and there it is, he survived. Let's support Maxi.
So at this point I start to realize that he wants to just battle it out in the middle, so we have to outplay him there. It's overtime, so both parties are getting more energy, so we really have to outplay. There's some, uh, I guess, chip damage from uh, Super Craig. So then it becomes obvious to me that this guy's not going to want to give it up. So I start to chip damage with stuff like Unholy Combustion. So I'm starting to realize that there's a little bit of a, uh, an energy difference here. Kind of suspicious, but uh, nothing I'm not used to. So we went ahead and just did that, um, that chip damage so we can get this over with. And that's it. Game. Thanks for watching guys. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe so that you can be notified of all of my videos.